On the news tonight, cannabis companies across Michigan taking a hit, increasing competition, forcing some in the industry to rethink their business strategy. State records show there are over 500 recreational retailers licensed in the state, nearly 140 opening in just the last eight months. 7 Action News reporter Brett Cass spoke to a few Michigan cannabis companies to see how they're navigating the changing market. Well, this Loom Cannabis location in Southfield just opened in March and already it's closed. Now, Loom says it's part of a realignment as they open new stores in cities like Ann Arbor, but competition in the industry is increasing. It's a tight market in the city of Hazel Park with a number of cannabis companies in close proximity, including New Standard with nine locations across the state. We really don't, you know, gauge on what our competitors are doing or pricing. It's really about guest experience. COO Mary Turan says she doesn't feel it's any more difficult to operate today despite increased competition, adding they've spent years building their customer base. It's literally like a relationship, almost like going to your dentist or somebody who you know and they feel comfortable and that's what keeps people coming back. Besides increased competition, prices have also changed. In June of 2020, the average retail price of an ounce of flour was roughly $400. Today, it's about $122. Everybody's under the impression when you first hear cannabis, like you're just making millions, you must be printing money. But at the end of the day, truthfully, it's like any other business. Alex Lenowitz is the COO of Red Bud Roots, a company that has started focusing less on retail and more on manufacturing for other retailers. The days where it was $4,000 a pound, I mean, those days are long gone. Those will never come back. Uh, so you need to learn uh, to operate in a space where the mar margins are a lot tighter. It's not the gold rush it once the people thought it once was. Jacob Ownby with Great Lakes Holistics says his strategy is focused on having the cheapest prices, calling his store the Dollar General of Pot. They were just trying to build brands or build, you know, this expensive, exquisite, trying to make it this experience. And I think for us, we treated it as a commodity. And, and traded it as such. As cannabis competition grows, companies are focused on creating their niche, putting in place a long-term business model to outlast those that don't. I think that's a lot of things that people overlook at times and just think, oh, as long as I open my store, I'm gonna make money right away. Those days were short, they were a long time ago, and they're just not, they're not gonna be here anymore. As for Loom, they are one of the biggest retailers in the state of Michigan with 32 locations across the state. They say they're committed to continue building their retail footprint. In Southfield, I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News.